Hey, good morning. Welcome to Arise and Shine. Church on the Web Daily Devotion for Wednesday, February 17, 2021. It looks like the start of another beautiful day, so we're excited about what God can do in your life today. So our scripture this morning comes out of Hebrews chapter 2, uh, verses 1 through 3. But just for a note, Hebrews was written to a group of first century Christians who were in danger of giving up. As Christianity began to spread in that defining air, many new converts found themselves being tested, exposed to fierce persecution, physically assaulted, casted into prison, and their homes were even plundered. Now, while some believers accepted this adversity with joy, others were wavering in their newfound faith in Christ. In particular, a group of Jewish Christians, probably living in Rome, were tempted to return to their former religion and its familiar practices. So we're going to read in Hebrews chapter 2, verses 1 through 3, and it says, So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. For the message of God delivered through the angels has always stood firm, and every violation of the law and every act of disobedience was punished. So what makes us think we can escape if we ignore this great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus uh, himself and then delivered to us by those who heard him speak? And God confirmed the message by giving signs and wonders, <coughs> excuse me, signs and wonders and various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit whenever he chose. The title of our devotion this morning is going to be Avoid Drifting Away. Most people who leave faith in God don't make a sudden, deliberate decision to do so. Rather, they gradually become colder to the Lord, lose interest in praying, reading the Bible, and fellowshipping with others, and over time, value their relationship with God less and less. In Hebrews 2, our third verse said, How shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? But that's what many people do. They ignore God. Eventually, they become nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. That's in 2 Peter 1, verse 9. They often still go through the motions of being a Christian, but their heart is not in it. They question the basics of their faith and believe they are irrelevant to, the life, uh, to uh, life in the modern world. So how can we avoid this? You must pay careful attention to what you've heard or read from the Bible. When you hear the word, ponder it deeply and allow it to change you. Pray for God to renew your relationship with him daily. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pray with me this morning. Dear God, keep me close to you, loving you, hungry for your word and your spirit. Lord, anoint my ears that I may hear your words and understand them in my heart. Let me never drift away from you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Listen, God bless you. Enjoy a beautiful day. I think it's a little cold out this morning, uh, maybe 31, 32, but it's a whole lot better than it is in Texas. And so we're praising God for a good day uh, in the Lord. And remember, Jesus loves you. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'll be in Augusta, Georgia, but I'll still see you. God bless.